my very good friend, praise the Lord, I'm trying to multitask here, uh, my very good friend all the way, all the way from Indianapolis, the Honorable Pastor Kim Graves, um, she is uh, a, a good friend, she's, she's taught me a lot about uh, oh, this one system, uh, what I love about her is um, she will receive you just as you are, and uh, when she received me as I was, she uh, she loved on me, and um, she received me. If, if I didn't say everything correctly, and it just made me feel so so loved, and I was so grateful about that. And I, I love you for that, Pastor Kim. And uh, you you all are going to see how how anointed she is. It's, it's in her flow. It's in her eyes. It's in her words, you, and she knows the word. And when she you, when she ministers, heaven opens, um, and that's why we're connected. We're connected for a lot of reasons, but that's why I said yes to to what God asked me to do with her because she's genuine, and you're not going to find that in too many people. You're not going to find that in too many places, Amen. And I, I think is your church called New Vision? You can. Okay, you're right. I got, I got that yeah. right. <laughs> I didn't want to mess that up. Um, so I just, I don't know how long we've been knowing each other, but I know that we are connected with the same uh, covering with them. And so I put you in the hands of the Honorable Pastor Kim Graves. Just let God use you. You're free to do whatever God is telling you to do. Um, the time is yours. God bless. God bless you, Apostle. And thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation uh, to come to minister to God's people. Um I want to say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. And Apostle, you are just lovable. You are so, you know, we used to sing a song in church, so easy to love. Amen. And she is just that. She's so easy to love. And uh, to borrow from one of her terms now, she's lovable, but she will bust your head down to the white meat. And uh, so I love her for who she is. I love her for who she is. And once again, thank you for receiving me and having me this morning. I will say before I get started, before I pray, I said, Lord, I want to wear something comfortable this morning. And I said, I'm feeling like a T-shirt. You know, it's early in the morning. I just want to be comfortable. So I went uh, looking through the drawers and pulled out. Amen. It's time to represent the kingdom. Yeah. I haven't seen this t-shirt in ages, but you know, God is, you know, he has a sense of humor. He's full of purpose. And to me, it's like, you know, I haven't seen this t-shirt since we wore it. And I found it this morning. I said, God, you know, you are speaking loud and clear loud and clear. So I'm just happy to be here this morning, happy for all that you do for the kingdom mm -hmm. and all the fruit, my God, the fruit that is uh, coming out of your ministry. I just honor you today. So um, I thank God for those that are on Facebook. I see LaShawn. I call her baby doll. Amen. She's in the uh, Zoom room today. And I bless God for all of you that are here. I see uh, uh, Caroline, and, and pardon me, I know you guys are apostles and and prophets, amen, um, uh, but I just bless God for all of you, and uh, I would ask that you would pray for me, pray me uh, through this as we begin to talk together about commanding our morning, commanding our morning. Some of the things that you will hear me say will be familiar to you, Amen. It's, it's uh, some of the things you will hear me say, you've heard it before. And then God will bring revelation. He will illuminate, amen, uh, uh, that, that we've uh, known or heard before. So uh, without further ado, I want to pray. Father, we just thank you. We give your name praise. We give your name honor and glory that's due to you. We thank you for every opportunity that you give us 
to talk about you, to talk about your kingdom, to further your kingdom, to expand your kingdom. We thank you for your word this morning. Father, we give you permission to have your way. Open up our eyes that we may see today. Open up our ears that we may hear what the spirit is saying unto the church. Bless us, oh God, as we go into your word today and allow your word to go into us. And it is in the strong name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Thank God. Amen. I'm teaching this morning again on commanding the morning, commanding the morning. And I want to go back to the origin. Amen. It's always good to go back to the origin. And I just, um, I think, you know, it is important for us not to just uh, begin to uh, restate catchy phrases, but understand the origin of the things we say. Don't just open up your mouth and start saying things that you hear people say because they sound good, but go back and understand the origin. So in commanding the morning, the first thing we want to do is go back and look at the origin, and it is found in Job chapter 38. I will let you know, amen, when I have some scripture, amen, that I would want you to read, but you can just, those of you that are taking notes this morning, it, the origin is in Job 38. Let me preface this a little bit. Job had, amen, had called on God for a long time. He's in the midst of suffering, Amen. He had called on God for answers for a long time. He wanted answers from God about why he was going through the suffering that he was enduring. And Job in the third chapter of Job begins to curse the day that he was born. You'll find that in Job 3 and 3. It says these words, he said, let the day perish wherein I was born and the night in which it was said there is a man child conceived. And so in the midst of Job's suffering, he curses the day that he was born. Job wanted some relief, glory to God. Amen. He felt Amen, that he was innocent. You know that the beginning of the book of Job says, God says about Job that he was upright, amen. And he felt that he was innocent and he felt that God should acquit him, amen, to come and rescue him and set him free. So we find in this book, although, amen, Job curses the day he was born in the third chapter, God does not answer Job amen till later on time went by you know some of you may go, be going through some things amen and not understand amen why God has not answered you know the old saints used to say God may not come come on when we want him but when he comes he's always right on time finally God answers Job out of a whirlwind amen and he begins to rebuke Job. And so, amen, this first use of commanding the morning is in the context of a rebuke. Listen, God begins to ask Job a litany of questions. He, the first question he asked Job, he says, where were you? Hey, I feel God. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? In other words, God is saying to Job, since you, amen, are cursing the day, since you know so much, amen, about you and the plans that I have for your life, you know, when I begin to look at this, I, I thought about, amen, people that deal with uh, depression to the point of suicide, and this is the mind of God. So we study God's word, amen, to understand his mind. And so the mind of God, God is addressing Job, asking him, since you know so much about your life, amen, and the plans that I have for your life, where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? He begins to ask Job, who laid the measures of the earth? Where are the foundations of the earth fastened? 
since you know so much? Who shut in the sea with the doors when it bursts out from the womb? Hallelujah. He said, is it by your wisdom, Job, that the hawk soars and spreads its wings toward the south? Is it at your command, Job, that the eagle mounts up and makes its nest on high? And then we get to the text, amen, the term, the phrase, commanding the morning. God begins to ask Job in chapter 38, verse 12 and 13, hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? May I say that again? God asked Job, have you commanded the morning since thy days? In other words, since you've been born, Job, have you been able to command the morning? Have you been able to literally, amen, cause the sun, command the sun to rise and it rises? Let me get back to the text. It says, hast thou Job commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spring, that's the dawn or the morning, to know his place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. In other words, God, in this rebuke, this rebuke, glory to God, God is asking Job, literally, did you cause the sun to rise? Who are you, hallelujah, to curse the day, amen, that you were born, hallelujah. And I hope that someone, even in this, begins to value their own life. We never know, hallelujah, who these words, amen, uh, as we teach on social media, who this is reaching. I want to say, amen, that God has a plan plan for your life. I want to bind the spirit of suicide. Hallelujah. You cannot curse the day in which you were born. Hallelujah. For God says, I know the plans and the thoughts that I think toward you. Thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. I feel God. And I know we're talking about commanding the morning. Hallelujah. And so I want to talk about this word command, this word command, excuse me uh, for sipping, but I, I, my mouth is feeling a little bit dry. Is anybody praying for me? Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God. Hallelujah. The word command, let's define that word. Command means to be it. Come on, take some notes this morning. It means to be, to order, to direct, glory to God, to charge. Uh, the word command, it implies authority. You got to know who you are. Hallelujah. It implies authority. Amen. It implies the power to control. Amen. So when we're commanding, these are all the words that are associated. This is the meaning of the word command. To command uh, means it uh, uh, to require obedience. In other words, when you put out, amen, those words, you expect expect, amen, those words, amen, to come into manifestation. You expect to see, glory to God, what you are saying. And so, amen, command uh, requires obedience. Now, I'm reminded here of Adam and Eve because I got to set a foundation for us this morning. Adam and Eve Amen. Was given a mandate by God in the garden. Amen. And they were told to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue, and to have dominion. When Jesus Christ came, because this is Christ centered, amen, that mandate was given back to us. So you must understand who you are and the authority that God gave you. Amen. And you know, 
this starts early in the morning. Amen. So each and every day, amen, we remind ourselves of the mandate. Amen. On this day, I will be fruitful. I will multiply. I will replenish. I will subdue and I will have dominion beginning with the first fruits of the day. Amen. Bishop J. Laverne Tyson, amen, uh, has a saying, amen, when we were uh, writing letters, we don't do uh, much in writing letters anymore, amen, since we have text and social media, but uh, the term, I became familiar with the term carpe diem, hallelujah, from Bishop J. Laverne Tyson. He would end his letters, glory to God, amen, because I was his secretary at one time, amen, so I know about, amen, his letters that he would send out, and he was in those letters with the words carpe diem. I posted that the other day, glory to God, knowing that only a few would be able to pick that up, glory to God. But carpe diem literally means seize the day, amen. And we are talking about commanding the morning. You got to do this very early. You got to carpe diem. You got to seize the day. What does it mean to seize the day? You take the day captive. We're talking about commanding the morning, the first fruits. Amen. What you do with the first fruits, amen, denotes what's going to happen with the rest. Amen. So we carpe diem. We seize the day. Amen. We take that day captive. We lay hold on it. We set the day. Hallelujah. Like we was set a watch. Hallelujah. So commanding the morning for us, commanding the morning for us is to literally jumpstart our day with what God says. Don't miss that. Mm. Hallelujah. Don't miss that right there. Amen. To command your morning is to jumpstart your day with what God says. Hallelujah. See, it's very important that it be what God says. Uh, and, and to make it plain, you just simply want to say, I got to jumpstart my day with what God says, the word of God. Job 22 and 28 says it like this. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established. Amen. Is anybody still praying for me? Hallelujah. Good morning, Melvina. Good morning, Anna. Those of you that are coming in, good morning. We're talking about, yes, I see you, Apostle Valerie. Seize that day. Seize that moment. Take authority. Amen. I believe it's 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 10, where it talks about... Amen. Uh, uh, the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations at every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing in, come on, bringing in to captivity every thought, seize it, lay hold of it. Glory to God. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Hallelujah. And again, Job said, decree. Let's look at the word. He said, decree. Decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Come on, somebody. Decree. The word decree is, is like a legal term. The word decree means to legislate. Come on, you do know, amen, that all of this is legal. Amen. As kingdom citizens, amen, we have legal rights. Amen. This whole thing is better based on legalities, amen, to decree means to legislate, to enact, to establish, this is what I want to see in commanding the morning, hallelujah, and so uh, we're familiar with the scripture that says, whatsoever things we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Bind means to forbid. It means to close, to ban, to prevent, to prohibit whatever you bind on earth. And listen, 
that uh, verse is twofold. It doesn't always, uh, let me see, let me say this carefully. It can also mean, amen, whatever you legislate on earth. I just said something right there. Amen. So don't lock that scripture into just casting out devils and evil spirits. What you bind, what you leg legislate, what you enact, what you forbid. My God, I don't want to get excited this morning. I just want to stay on the ground. But let's expand on this. Whatever I legislate, what I say, what comes out of my mouth, God agrees with it. As long as the, it's the word of God, because God watches over his word to perform it in the earth. Hallelujah. So expand on whatever, whatsoever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. I legislate this. I enact this. This is what I legislate for my ministry. And what I legislate for my ministry, God backs it in the heavens. Whatever we loose or whatever we allow or permit or open on earth is opened in heaven. Glory to God. We are talking about commanding our morning. My God, some other terms. Amen. I got to take a sip, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me just take a break. I, I'm, I'm not even looking at y'all. Is anybody being blessed so far? Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and get, just give God praise. Hallelujah. Hey, Shia, I am a worshiper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some other terms you may hear for uh, commanding the morning is uh, daily confessions. Some people call it daily confessions. Amen. Some people call it declarations. Glory to God. Some people call it affirmations. You may hear other terms, but we got to do this. Glory to God. Understand that Komosha, that what we do when we again seize that day, the first moments, as Apostle Valerie said, amen. Those first moments, seize those first moments of that day. Glory to God. Now we there's some preparation for commanding the day. Amen. It, it's incorporated with your morning prayer, your devotion to God. Hallelujah. And, and certainly, amen, uh, Matthew 6 and 33 says, seek ye first, first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. That's uh, revelatory right there. Do it every day. Seek first his kingdom and everything else, amen, will be added unto us. If you give, if you give him the first fruits of every morning, hallelujah, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. I just said something right there. Hallelujah. So we got to prepare just like you do for prayer. Amen. Commanding your morning is a part of your morning devotions and your prayer, your conversation, the time you spend with God. You ought to be in God's presence and spending time with him before you spend time, amen, with anybody else. Get in his presence before you get in anybody else's presence. Listen, let's talk about some preparation for commanding. Amen. We got to forgive just like prayer. Amen. Just like, amen, prayer. We got to, if we have in, any alts against anybody, we got to come to God with a pure heart. We got to ask for, and I know, I know, I know that Jesus Christ died on a cross for all of our sins. And when he died, he said, it, it is finished. Our sins passed present and future were all forgiven, but we acknowledge, amen, that we missed the mark. Hallelujah. And he said he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So get the junk out, get the junk out. 
You know, the old saints used to say, Lord, shine a light on me. Some of this stuff we need to go back to. Hallelujah. Because we become an arrogant people. Here come old shy. We got to get back to humility. We got to get back to saying things. You know, we, we, we say, you know, that was for the old church. They didn't know what they were doing. But some of this stuff we got to get back to. We got to find our way back to humility. I hear God. Hallelujah. 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. So we got to come to God with a pure heart, get the junk out, get the unforgiveness out, hallelujah, and then enter, come on, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, oh, glory to God, and into his courts with praise. Put Jesus every day in his place. I declare your lordship over this day. Woo, these are first things first. Can I say it again? I declare your lordship over this day. Hallelujah. Understand, this is all a part of our preparation for commanding, for praying, for going before the presence of the king. Understand where you are positionally. Woo, I feel God in here. Hallelujah. Understand where you are positionally. The Bible says that you are seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Understand that your condition is not your position. You may be dealing with sickness, glory to God. You may have some disabilities in your body, but your condition, hallelujah, is not your position. So understand where you are when you begin to command your day. Remember the mandate, be fruitful, multiply, hallelujah, replenish, subdue, have dominion. My God, hallelujah. I said, I just going to teach y'all, hallelujah. Amen. Put God in his place. It come on, shot every day. Don't take it for granted. Tomorrow's not promised. I declare your lordship over this day, each and every day. Hallelujah. And take the day captive. We talked about it earlier. Declare. Here's another way you take this day captive. It's really simple. Amen. Open up your mouth and say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Hallelujah. Now we use our mouth. Our mouths, amen, are the tool that we use to command. Amen. Words, the words that we speak, and it's very important that we know the word. Amen. That we get in the word and that the word gets in us. Glory to God. We get in it and allow the word to get in us, to change us, to shape us. Uh, the psalmist said, thy word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart. And I feel God right here. You got to get in his word. That word has got to get in you. So that word, see, whatever you put in you is what's going to come out of you. Come on, somebody. Out of the abundance of the heart. Come on. The mouth speaks. Glory to God. So the words, amen, that we use in commanding the day, amen. The, I know this is a long teaching, amen, or, or maybe there's a lot in this teaching, but this does not mean this is all you do. You got to do all this, amen. You can make it simple in commanding your morning. I'm just giving you some foundation today. So words are, are the tools, amen, that are used. Your mouth, amen, is, is the tool is the instrument and the words are nails those of you that are taking notes write a note and say words are nails and those of you on facebook write that type that say words are nails words are nails words are nails that are used to build or to frame you in my god 
Words are the nails. He kind of Messiah. Words are the nails that are used. You are literally building, amen, what is around you. You are framing yourself in by your words. Hallelujah. And so, amen, in other words, when we command the morning, hallelujah, or command the day, amen, we want to say, it's very uh, important that we say what we want to see. We have to uh, take responsibility over the words that come out of our mouth. We have to be very intentional and skillful, my God, with the words that we use. Never underestimate the the power of the words that come out of your mouth. Proverbs 18, 21 tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And so when we command, when we command, we should command, we should be commanding what God says. Remember that God is obligated. He is obligated to come for his words. Amen. So come into agreement with what God says in his word. I'm reminded, hallelujah, Amen. We've been teaching a series on angels, and I'm reminded there in Daniel chapter 10, amen, uh, we're very familiar, most of us are familiar with that, how Daniel had prayed. He had been praying to God for an answer here again, and and, and the answer was held up. I'm not going to get into all the details uh, or the backdrop of that story, amen, but the, the answer was held up, amen, and there was a war, amen, in heaven, Nicole shot hallelujah, with, with uh, Michael the archangel and a demonic spirit, amen, but, but by the time, amen, or rather it was Gabriel that was warring with the demonic spirit, Michael had to intervene, amen, so that Gabriel could be let loose to take the answer to Daniel, but watch this, when the angel got to Daniel, the main thing he said, listen, hear me, he said, I have come for your word. Words. Look at it again, Daniel chapter 10. I've come for your words. Your words are so important. Those words that you speak, let them be the word. Oh, I feel God in this place. We're talking about commanding our morning and commanding the day. Hallelujah. As believers, as believers, amen. Let me take another sip here. Glory to God. Anybody still praying for me? Hallelujah. As believers, we have been given delegated authority to speak those things that we want to see. And I think I should say that again. As believers, come on, know who we are. As believers, we have been given delegated authority to speak those things we want to see. Let me give you some scripture. John 14, 12 says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, amen, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, because I go unto my Father. In other words, amen, what our Father did as a speaking, amen, a speaking being, we are his children, we do what he does, we speak, amen, God spoke and he saw, Glory to God. He's our father. We are created in his image and after his likeness. And we speak those things that we want to see. Joshua 1 and 8 says, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Again, whatever you put in is going to come out. Joshua 1 and 8 says, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, come on, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Again, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Whatever you put in, they call shata. Whatever you put in is going to come out. 
Now, let me give you, we're coming down to, amen, a close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you that know me know I get to racing, and I know that you're saying in your prayers, Lord, slow her down a little bit. Slow her down. Come on, let's take a praise break right here. Hey, shaka bahaya. Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah. If God is giving you some revelation this morning, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. And tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Let me tell you the benefits of commanding your day with the word of God. Amen. If there is a contingency, it would be, amen, you got to be saying what God says. You got to come into agreement with what God says. You got to fall out of agreement with negative words. Come on, somebody. You got to fall out of agreement, amen, with word curses. Glory to God. And come into agreement with what God says. I'm, I'm convinced, amen, that, that many suffer from, from, uh, 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 what is it? Identity crisis because they're in agreement with negative words that have been spoken over their life, fall out of agreement with what they said and fall into agreement with what God says. Matthew 18, 19 says, where two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything they ask shall be done of our father who is in heaven. So the benefits, the benefits, Somebody say benefits, type it on the screen. Benefits, benefits, the benefits. Amen. There are benefits in commanding your day with the word of God. Amen. It allows us, amen, to walk in greater authority over our day. That's a benefit, y'all. Listen. Amen. If, if, if I don't have numbers on here, but I'll say number one, amen, commanding your morning, seizing the day, hallelujah, laying hold, taking the day captivity, setting your day like you set the watch allows us to walk in greater authority over our day. You know who you are. You know what your mandate is. You know, hallelujah, that God left you here in the kingdom to to bring the kingdom to earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as, as it is in heaven. So, amen. One of the benefits, it allows us to walk in greater authority over our day. Amen. Again, I think I said this, It uh, commanding your morning, amen, sets the tone for the rest of the day because you are seizing those first fruits. You are giving them, amen, you are giving your the first fruits of your morning, your new day. Hallelujah. Amen. You're giving it to him and it sets the tone for the rest. Amen. Listen, another benefit of commanding your morning or commanding your day, it activates God's word in our life. Oh my God. It's an activation, activation. Somebody type that on the screen. Activation. It activates the word. It turns it on. It activates. Amen. Getting up in the morning, commanding your morning, talking to your father, Speaking what he says, coming into agreement with what he says about you, all the things that he says, amen, Deuteronomy 28 and all the promises of God in him are yes and amen. Speak what God speaks about us that activates the word in our life, amen. The scripture, amen, I, I, I uh, quote often, it says, God says, I've set before you life and death blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. Amen. That thou, that both thou and thy seed may live. So activate, get up and activate that word. And listen, uh, my final benefit, and there are probably others. Amen. This is not all conclusive. Amen. I'm just giving you some, but this, this is, this is key right here. Amen. This is a key benefit of commanding your day or commanding your morning. Do you realize that you are actually prophesying into your day? Come on. 
Amen. You are actually, amen, prophesying, prophesying into your day. Amen. You become the prophet of your destiny for that day. You are prophesying. Well, somebody said, well, I, I need scripture. Amen. I'm reminded of Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel Amen. It is it, 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 uh, 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 led into a valley. Amen. A valley that was full of dry bones. Come on, somebody. Amen. There's revelation in here. Amen. We want to begin to say what we want to see. And here, here Ezekiel is. And the Bible said not only were these bones dry, but the Bible said they were very dry. And God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? And when I was studying this, Zikonomoshaya, I was beginning to think about people who deal with arthritis, people who have issue, bone issues, bone cancer. Glory to God. Commanding your morning is prophesying into your day. It, it allows you to become the prophet of your own destiny for the day. You can begin to open up your mouth and speak over your own body. Hallelujah and tell your body to line up with the word of God. You know that God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? He was given instruction to prophesy to them. What are you saying, Pastor Kim? Prophesy to your day. Call in that Como Sha, what you want to see. Prophesy to those dry situations. Prophesy to your body. Prophesy to your day. Hallelujah. Command your morning. Call those things in that you want to see. Glory to God. Somebody take a praise break right here with me. Hallelujah. Oh my God, prophesy, prophesy, open up your mouth, prophesy. I don't care what it looks like, prophesy, hallelujah. In this time that we're living in, death is on, uh, 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 it's just turned up. People are dying, glory to God. We can't get to hospitals like we used to, but we can send the word, prophesy. Somebody say prophesy. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. My God. Let me give you, amen. I'm almost done here. I need about five, ten more minutes. Hallelujah. I just feel God right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me give you some sample commands. And listen, amen. I believe in writing the vision. Amen. I thank God for our church. I see some of uh, some of our members out here today, New Vision Ministries, that's who we are right here in Indianapolis. I thank God for all of you. Amen. We're founded on the scripture, write the vision, make it plain. Amen. So as we look at some sample commands, you can find them anywhere. You can go to Google and find some of these things. You can write. Amen. My God, write your own commands. Glory to God. It's nothing wrong with having a tablet and writing these these things down. And when you get up in the morning and spend time with God in prayer, and then pull that tablet out, glory to God, and begin to recite, glory to God, those things that you wrote. Amen. Write it. Hallelujah. My God. So some sample commands. Father God, and I said this earlier, I believe even in the prayer, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Now remember, amen, amen, going into the presence of God, God said in his word, no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus said that, the words of Jesus, no man comes to the Father but by me. Do you understand there are formulas Amen. There are formulas into getting into the presence of God. Amen. Scripture lays out formulas for us. So, Father God, amen, in the name of Jesus, oh, my God, I declare, this is what I said earlier, I declare your lordship over this day. 
You're setting the day. You're setting the tone. You're saying who's in charge. I'm not in charge. It's in you that I live and move and have my being. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare your lordship over this day. That's important. However you say it, write it. Amen. Begin to declare it. Another uh, sample is I come into agreement with the heavens to declare your glory. Amen. You're, you're telling him he's in charge. Amen. You're giving him the adoration that he desires. Amen. And it will jumpstart your day. Amen. I'm almost done here. Give me about five more minutes. Uh, another sample is I come under your covering. I bring myself under your covering and the anointing of the early risers. It's important. That is key. Amen. That's key. Amen. Getting up early. How many know the devil is always on his job? Glory to God. And that's another thing. That's another lesson that you should familiarize yourself with. Learn the watches of the night. Amen. And the day and what happens and uh, during those watches and learn how to pray certain prayers for certain watches because the enemy gets up early. There are certain times, amen, that the enemy is plotting. And so there's something about early risers coming under the anointing of early risers. Psalm 63 and one says, oh God, thou art my God. He said, early will I seek thee. He said, my soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. There, That is Psalm 63 and 1. And what we magnify, the, the psalmist, the writer said, early will I seek thee. Another sample command. Lord, let your light break forth in my life as the morning. And that's according to Psalm 58 and 8. 58 and 8. Uh, my appointed times, those Kairos moments, my appointed times have been declared by God in the heavens. It's already done. You're just coming into agreement with the plan of God for your day. And another one is, I command the earth to get in place to receive heavenly instructions on my behalf. Another one, as my praise resounds and the day breaks forth, the earth shall yield her increase unto me. Again, you can write these, amen. Don't have to be a whole lot of them. Write a few of them. Another one, the first fruit of my morning is holy and the entire day is holy. Or the first fruits of my morning is holy. Therefore, amen, the entire day is holy. Another one, I am strategically lined up with the ladder that touches the third heaven and sits on the earth. I'm lined up, glory to God. I'm in alignment with the kingdom of heaven. These are declarations, glory to God, amen, hallelujah. You speak it, glory to God, amen, and your body will follow. Now, that's a whole nother lesson on spirit, uh, spirit, body, and soul, amen. Whichever one you feed is the one that's going to lead out. Amen. And the body's going to follow whichever one is stronger, but that's, that's something else that's going somewhere else. In closing, in closing, and I thank God for all of you. Once again, I thank God for a Ikarabasia, Shandalobosha. I thank God for Apostle Desmond for giving me the opportunity to share this morning hallelujah so in closing thank you i don't know what happened right there but thank you jesus when we command our morning everybody when we command our morning you're just incorporating this in your prayers when we command our morning we are establishing divine assignments for our day and just to recap 
just a little bit, just a little bit of recap. When we command, command means to give an authoritative order. And you can speak authoritatively when you know who you are. Hallelujah. When you know that God has given you delegated authority, when you know that he has given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and the Bible says nothing shall by any means hurt us. Hallelujah. When we know that, we can speak authoritatively. We can call those things that be not as though they are. We can begin to declare and say what we want to see. So command again, amen. And just recapping is just giving an authoritative order. Amen. It is to dominate. Don't be afraid of the word dominate. This is what God told us to do as kingdom citizens, amen, in the earth. He gave us the keys of the very kingdom of heaven and said, whatsoever you bind here on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose here, what you allow, hallelujah, what you permit, what you open, amen, heaven is going to back us. He's given us this authority, okay? So it's a strategic position amen to dominate to decree amen to to uh call it to be established again amen decree is a legislative term it means to enact or establish when you decree we talked about preparing for prayer or commanding your morning you got to forgive we talked about putting jesus in his place declaring his lordship over the day understand we talked about this is important understanding who you are and where you are positionally your condition whatever it is is not your position you're limitless you're not you're not bound glory to god your words your prayers are not bound by in there are no limitations glory to god amen understand again where we are positionally amen and not our condition decree decree that you are clothed in righteousness the righteousness of the father decree that you are under the covering and anointing of the early risers it's something about it's scriptural it's something about Amen. The early riser anointing. Get up out of that bed. Glory to God. Understand, amen. I, I, I suggested you guys uh, get into this, and you probably already know. Understand. Get a better understanding of the watches of the night and the day and what to pray for when God wakes you at odd times. Uh, just oh, two more minutes. Glory to God. And, uh, of course, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Remember the term carpe diem. Thank you, Bishop Tyson. Seize your day. S declare, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice in it and I will be glad. Begin to use your tongue as the pen of a ready writer commands, decree, de declare, amen, and, and, and let it be, amen, the word that you have hid in your heart, amen, let it be God's word, come on somebody, I'm going to stop right there, amen, come on and give God praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, we thank you, Father, thank you for your word, Father, we give your name praise, we give you the glory, and we give you the honor, and it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor, for that awesome, awesome teaching on commanding the morning. Glory to God. We give the Lord a hand, clap of praise one more time. Just because he's worthy and this teaching was amazing. Thank you so much.